The Battle of Ligny took place near the town of Ligny, presently located in Belgium, on the 16th of June 1815. French troops of the Armée du Nord under Napoleon I defeated a portion of a Prussian army under Field Marshal Blücher. The outcome gave the French a tactical victory, but the majority of the Prussian army managed to survive the battle in good order. It was the last victory of Napoleon Bonaparte. On the 1st of March 1815, Napoleon returned from his exile on the island of Elba. King Louis XVIII fled Paris on the 19th of March, and Napoleon entered the French capital the next day. Meanwhile, far recognizing him as Emperor of the French, the great powers of Europe, Austria, Great Britain, Prussia and Russia, and their allies, who were assembled at the Congress of Vienna, declared Napoleon an outlaw, which led to the start of the War of the Seventh Coalition on the 13th of March 1815. Each of the great European powers agreed to add 150,000 men for the coming conflict, and an invasion of France was planned for the 1st of July 1815. Napoleon chose to attack, which involved a preemptive strike at his enemies before they were all full assembled and able to cooperate. At that moment, the Prussian army, under the command of Field Marshal Gebhard Lebrecht von Blucher and the British Multinational Army, under the command of Arthur Wellesley, 1st Duke of Wellington, were in Belgium. Napoleon decided to destroy these armies first, before the Austrians and the Russians were ready to join them. Facing these two armies, Wellingtons in the west and the Prussians under Field Marshal von Blucher in the east, Napoleon's overall strategy was to defeat them one by one, before this force could join. Napoleon crossed the border into what is now Belgium, that was then part of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands, near Charleroi on the 15th of June, without alerting the coalition leaders and drive a wedge between their forces. He planned to defeat the Prussian army, forcing them to retreat eastward, and then turn to engage Wellington, driving his army back to the Channel coast. Napoleon divided his 128,000 strong Armée du Nord, Army of the North, in three, giving command of the left wing to Marshal Michel Ney, the right wing to Marshal Emmanuel de Grouchy, while retaining personal command of a reserve force. Napoleon dispatched a force under Marshal Michel Ney to seize the crossroads at Quatre Bras. Ney advanced cautiously on the Allied position, however allowing Wellington the opportunity to reinforce his outnumbered troops, and the Allies retained Quatre Bras after a day of inconclusive fighting. Napoleon himself led the attack on Blucher's force at Ligny with around 60,800 available troops, facing 82,700 Prussian troops. Napoleon delayed his attack until about 2.30 pm when he heard cannon fire coming from the direction of Quatre Bras and thus knew that his left flank was secure. The battle started perfectly for the French, who did not hesitate to take the offensive in front of Prussian troops who didn't have much time to organize themselves. One of the Prussian army corps, being too far away, could not intervene, and the French very quickly managed to break the Prussian defensive line, thanks to the devastating attacks led by Grouchy and Gerard. By 5 pm, the French managed to capture and hold saint amand The Prussians were becoming more and more shaken and disorganized, and Napoleon saw how they were massing on their right flank. A breakthrough at Ligny will trap at least half the Prussian army, so he ordered the guard to prepare to attack. To deliver the final blow to the Prussians, Napoleon ordered General Jean-Baptiste Derlon to move his corps on Napoleon's left and Ney's right at the time to the Prussians' rear in order to cut off their line of retreat. Derlon began to move into position, but suddenly stopped and began moving away, much to the surprise and horror of Napoleon. The reason for the sudden change in movement is that Ney had ordered Derlon to come to his aid at Quatre Bras. Without Derlon's corps blocking the Prussian line of retreat, the French victory at Ligny was not complete and the Prussians were not routed. Seeing the retreat of the troops that should have crowned the victory, the Emperor sent the Imperial Guard to attack at 7.30 pm, but it could only push back the last Prussian elements, not being in the necessary position to cut off their retreat. Meanwhile, the Prussian commander, Field Marshal Blucher, 
had been seriously injured in a fall from his horse and was unable to direct the battle. General von Gneisenau took over command and ordered a retreat to nearby Wavre, where the Prussians would regroup and await reinforcements. The battle was a tactical victory for Napoleon, as he had managed to defeat the Prussian army and capture their position at Ligny. However, his victory was incomplete as the Prussian army was not destroyed and was able to retreat and regroup south of Wavre, around 13 kilometers east of Waterloo. Napoleon assumed that the Prussians were retreating towards Namur and Liège after the battle, being knocked out of the war, which was not true. Napoleon's victory at Ligny allowed him to concentrate his forces on the British army commanded by the Duke of Wellington, without worrying about the Prussian army. Napoleon arrived too late at Quatre Bras, because Wellington already retreated to a defensive position south of Waterloo. Here, on the 18th of June, took place the decisive battle between Napoleon and the armies of the Duke of Wellington. The arrival on the field of the Prussians, who were not out of the fight, would ultimately tip the balance in favor of the Allies.